not too cold, especially if you're a <laughs> cowboy or a cowgirl like our friend Claudia. That's right, perfect <laughs> weather for a rodeo. And what do you know? <laughs> Guess who's there right now? Let's check back in with Claudia, who's over at the Eaton County Fairgrounds for Charlotte Frontier Days. Hey, Claudia. She's missing a hat. She's missing a hat. Claudia, you need a hat on. Hey, you guys, I'm still, I don't have a hat. You're right. But you know what? I, I think they all make up for it. Um, they all have hats on. And you know, I, I've always questioned if I have what it takes to be a cowgirl. And the more we talk, the more I can continue to second guess myself. I don't really know if I do because there's a lot that goes into it. And they're here to tell me all about it because they live it every single day. So let's talk about it. What does it take to be a cowgirl or a cowboy? You want to tell them? A lot of worth ethic, grit, like just constantly working and practicing. So I'll let you. <laughs> and you know, you know, the thing about rodeo is you don't have to be born into it. We're extremely fortunate that we are yeah. and we live this lifestyle, but rodeo, anybody can work their way into as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, you pretty much just gotta have a lot of mental strength definitely to keep up on the rainy days and snowy days. There's really no breaks in the season, so that's what I think. Yeah. Well, there's definitely a lot of late nights and early mornings and choring and stuff. I mean, the winter time doesn't make it easy, but it's all part of it. And yeah. It's all worth it at the end of the day, too. It's it's definitely a lifestyle, but it's a good one. Yeah. Work. Rain or shine, all seasons, you guys are hard at work taking care of your animals, but it's all worth it in the end. So. This is something your family has been doing for a while. You guys followed in your dad's footsteps. So how did you guys, how did this happen in your family? How did this come to be? Mark, if you don't mind explaining. When we were kids, you know, we grew up in the country and I don't know, we, we got to see a rodeo and thought it was neat. And we were trying to do it at home in the backyard. And <laughs> we're fortunate enough with friends and neighbors to help us and, and we got to, kind of move our way through the high school associations. Started out in 4-H rodeo, then the high school rodeo, then the mid-states, the IPRA, and eventually the PRCA. And these guys are all right now in the, the high school and it's just kind of a way of life for us, Yeah. I guess. How does it feel to have all three of them following your footsteps? It's, it's pretty special, yeah. um, you know, to see how hard they work at it, you know. Um, like say, this morning at eight o'clock in the morning, Emery was roping calves because we were gonna be here for the next three days and she had to get one more practice in, you yeah. know. So it it's pretty neat to see them work that hard and, and go after something and commit and, and really put the work into it. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys have talked about some of that prep that goes into it, but you know, tonight and tomorrow is kind of where it all counts. So what is some of that prep? Because it's not just, you know, you put your horse out there and go. So how does it go? So a lot of times you're going to want to run at home and that's like a big thing. And it's a lot of fun to run at home, but you got to, you got to take the slow work. You got to get them broken down and ready to run when it counts here. Yeah. And I mean, all, all it comes down to is how hard you work. You got to outwork everybody. So yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, so talk about some of that prep, because you guys have been out here all day. So what's some of the prep? Oh, uh, you're in the arena pretty much every night of the week. You're in the, in the morning when it's not hot in the summertime, and when school starts here and in the evening after school, you're roping dummies, doing whatever you can to get ahead, and just constantly practicing. It never stops. Yeah, wow. That's a lot of work. So for, like, the rough stock end of it, which I do, uh, there's a lot of... A lot of strength condition or not strength but balance and being in the gym and then a lot of like balance stuff and do a lot of drills and stuff because you can only get on so many before you're crippled up to where there's a lot of that but we do get on some practice horses and practice bulls are typically a little less than what you'd be getting on at the rodeo but just good stuff to go practice on and stuff like that to where that's yeah. what we do that's a lot of work so you guys you've worked so hard where can people come and see you how can people come and see you at the yeah. Have run to your days. Uh, the rodeo is tonight at 7 o'clock, Mid-State Rodeo. Uh, there'll be everything from Emery's age, you know, on the way up to, you know, grown men and women um, competing tonight. 
tomorrow afternoon right here at 12:30 is the high school rodeo it'll be all high school age kids and then uh saturday night again here at seven o'clock for the ipra rodeo and then sunday afternoon at 12:30 again for the high school rodeo Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. And you know, this isn't your first rodeo, but this is mine and I absolutely can't wait. So thank you guys so much. But we are going to head back into the studio with Rochelle and Nicole.